Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Yuan Lin. I'm a PhD student. I'm from the Department of Comic and Animation of Central University. So today, I'm going to talk about the interactive storytelling of cultural heritage digital display. And I will take the discovery how of mental cultivation digital exhibition as my object. So my contents are divided into five parts. I will analyze the interactive storytelling of touch controlled displays and also the interactive storytelling of AR and VR displays. So the first one is ab abstract part. The museums have the function of cultural inheritance and mass communication education and try to perfect their display forms by using the new technologies. So modern museums and add user interaction to the ordinary exhibitions and obtain the immersive interactive experience with the help of technologies. Zhenmen Digital Museum of the Palace Museum is the first fully digital museum in China and use technologies of multi-touch interaction, VR, AR, and the discovery how of mental cultivation digital exhibition is popular. So based on this digital exhibition, I will take the touch screen and VR interaction as the objects. I will use the theory of interactive design and interactive storytelling to illustrate the operation, perception, and cognition of human-computer interaction. So on the one hand, I will analyze the technology presence in the digital exhibition. And on the other hand, I will pass the digital interactive features of museum collection. So next is introduction. The Palace Museum in Beijing is the world's largest, largest and well preserved Asian palace complex. The cultural relics become an important career and great reminder of Chinese civilization's history. So it is China's first bench of UNESCO's World Heritage List of Cultural Treasures. But due to the restoration of cultural relics, some precious cultural relics cannot be displayed to the audience. So more and more museums began to present their collections for 3D, dynamic, high precision, and interactive manner aims to rely the transformation of digital museum from material center to human human centered models. So the German Digital Museum was designed in 2015 by a joint team which composed of College of Fine Arts of Tsinghua University. And the digital exhibition space is integrated with the Asian solid col columns which can create a sense of time travel between the past and the present. The first digital exhibition was held at the time and the object was selected as the Hall of Mental Cultivation. And in October 2017, the museum divide, developed the second digital experience exhibition with the theme of Discovery Hall of Mental Cultivation, which attracts tens of millions of visitors and has a reputation. And in order to let more people feel the unique charm of the Palace Museum culture in their own city, this digital exhibition walked out the Drummond Digital Museum and to hold its first exhibition tour in Shanghai on 2019 and plans to settle in a number of cities within three years. And also, it won the 2018 Festival of Audio Visual International Multimedia. So this is confident demonstration of Chinese traditional culture and modern technology on the world stage. So the director of the Palace Museum explained the concept of this exhibition is hoping to make the cultural relics come alive and letting people walk into the hall and feel the essence and the charm of traditional cultural. So last part in interactive storytelling of part controlled displays. And first of all, these pictures show the digital display types of cultural heritage. 
and in innovative at present. So museum began to add interactive experience to the cultural relax displays, such as the, uh, the interactive touch screen presentation and sensor based interactive presentation and VR based experiential presentation. Okay. So some schooler such as the Benjamin points out the the modern techniques of display have such a profound effect on human consciousness and digital museums provide the audience with a more vivid and highly immersive experience through some interesting and multi-dimensional interaction. So the interactive storytelling of this exhibition can be divided into two parts. One is mainly about the touch interactive touch screen, and also the other is about the VR, the hybrid of VR and AR interaction. So the following part about analyze the interactive concept and forms of the touch screen interaction. So the first one is digital painting. The name is Birds, Insects, and Total Sketch from Life. And this is created by the famous painter Huang Quan. And this painting depicts more than 20 cans of animals. And the digital museum has made a short film, short film to present the creation background and painting features. So when the audience near the touch screen, they they are not only can trigger the birds to move on the screen and also can enjoy the colors and delicate brush strokes and the viewer can touch and observe the dynamic and habitat environment of individual bird. So this touch screen, touch interaction, let the audience know the cultural history and also stimulate their curiosity. Yeah. So, Next one is the digital calligrapher, the preface of Lantin. This is masterpiece of the Tang Dynasty calligrapher Feng Cheng Su. Digital calligrapher has strong interactive and intuitive features. So in order to strengthen the audience understanding and satisfy their imagination desire, the tablet computer in front of the digital calligrapher desk can also randomly open writing or group of words of Latin preface. An audience can use the hard paint to simulate and copy the writing words into the original task for comparison and appreciation. So this kind of interactive story storytelling satisfy the psychological and physical experience needs. So as Norman points out, the emotional elements are very important to product design. So the users can get a spiritual, emotional resonance, resonance and satisfaction when they using the products. And next one is digital cabinet of curiosities. This is a large scale type display, and this is virtual treasure campus of 18 CT3 inch high definition LCD screens, which presents more than 19, 90 pieces of cultural relics and the original limitation of observing the real object is broken so detailed information on the uh, on the screen such as the age the production methods the technology features and decorative patterns and using will can display so user can use the finger to rotate around the screen and zoom in and out and drag the culture relics from any angle and also can slip into the interesting videos. So those simple instinctive operations have better immersive users in the narrative experience. So we can see that touch interac interaction design fits on the audience needs and also the humanity is important in the interactive design and as Crawford mentioned that the humanization is the real concept of the of interactivity and the virtual art space could lead users to actively participate and become one of the creative sources of the story itself. So next part is the interactive storytelling of AR and VR displays. The AR displays based on hybrid design of AR and VR. 
as to achieve a deeper level of interactive experience, VR is a high-tech human computer interaction mode created by the integration of various technologies with the help of computing and sensing, sensing technology. It can provide the possibility of immersive in multi-dimensional digital space and has become an important tool for cultural heritage display. The following is ER VR import real a tier and slide the most customs of the chain density. The exhibition is divided into two parts, virtual fitting and customer appreci appreciation. Virtual fitting is the comprehensive application of VR and AR technology. The contents of the screen can be interactive, controlled by the body posture and gesture recognition method. The audience can wear on a complete set of palace costume and also can try on different types of clothing, experience the interactive effect between themselves and the palace customs. And therefore, the interaction cannot be separated from any participating party. So the virtual space and the real space can allow the users to rely the coexistence of the real world and the virtual things and to fill the charm of passing through history. So next is also a VR display digital hall of the three rarities. Three rarities is a world famous interior space by Apro Qianlu. The ultra sharp distance, distance projection system is used to build the high immersion 3D virtual display and virtual reality system of cave automatic virtual environment is a mature and highly immersive virtual reality system. And it has the advantage of realistic three-dimensional imaging technology and can restore the precious architecture space. So users can appreciate the original interior environment of traditional architecture in this realistic recreation. So we can summarize three characteristics of VR and AR, VR image simulation and the fidelity of the environment and the uh, telomeres operation. So in general, the interactivity of virtual experience can be separated as sensory layer interaction, behavioral layer interaction, and reflect reflective layer interaction. And users can get sensory and somatic uh, stimulation to meet their emotional needs. And the audience can gain the experience of uh, manipulation, manipulation, navigation, and immerse, immersion in the continuous interaction between real and virtual space. So the last part is conclusion. Open this diversity, experiential, and interactive integration of this digital exhibition marks the Palace Museum of History, Culture, and Traditional Art with a new interpretation and representation. And the visitors through gestures, sounds, visual perception, and other perceptual behaviors can feel the power of traditional culture and fully appreciate the cultural spirit and have a deeper interpretation and understanding of history. And furthermore, the cultural connotations cultural is coherent in the interaction process and emotion and feedback in the interaction are also the recreations of the exhibition. So finally, digital interactive narration for, from material center to human center shorten the distance on the human beings and the history relics so as to better feel and perceive the essence of traditional culture. Thank you. Thanks for listening.